And there they are. Good morning, everyone. You are seeing a live picture right now. William Shatner, the William Shatner, set to travel into space. Of course, Jared Thompson with me this morning as co-host. Jared, I understand this is about to happen in about 30 minutes. The entire crew getting ready. Now, this is history yeah, about to be made. We're watching this countdown right now. William Shatner is going to be the oldest person into wow, space. Wow, 90 years old. But I always say, I'm like, man, you're 90 years old. You get the opportunity. Obviously, he played Captain Kirk on Star Trek back in the 1960s. So this is kind of a part of his, his legacy, right? He got to pretend it for years. And now he actually gets to do it for real. How cool is that? I mean, it's it's awesome. I I don't know if it if I make it to 90 years old that this would be <laughs> on my my bucket list. Yeah. But uh, if you had the option to do it, why not? You know. I think so too. Okay, so from what I understand, you guys, he reportedly is going to take a few mementos with him from friends and family. And then when he was asked about this flight, sort of like, how are you feeling? What do you think about this? He said, okay, he's a little bit nervous. I mean, I would be. Yeah, you're be a little bit nervous but he also added I've heard about space for a long time now I'm taking the opportunity to see it for myself what a miracle it's pretty incredible I also saw on, on CNN they had interviewed him and um, he said that he was also looking forward to coming back down coming back. that would be me I love that you want to go but you want to make sure you're safe and come back get me back here. just get me back this is I mean this is really cool um, Again, I mean, it just at, at 90 years old that there's still yeah. other things to pursue and other things to do and I really kind so of round too. out his, oh, his career. It's his career, his life. And I believe we do have a soundbite from William Shatner himself. Let's take a listen. I feel comfortable, but I'm also uncomfortable. I'm, I'll be very happy when we go up and, and we're in weightlessness and we know we're safe because everything else should be all right. And we have that moment of inspiration, which I feel will be there when we're looking into uh, the vastness of the, uh, of the universe. Oh, there you go. I mean, again, such a monumental moment for him, but also for space travel. I know you were telling me earlier because I'd asked, like, wait, how long is he going to be there? You know, <laughs> when can we expect him back? This is a, a shorter journey, okay. Jared, than what I had what I had thought. So, what's the the time frame? Right. He's going to be I about. Know you said what? Eleven, 11 minutes. Eleven minutes or so. Yeah. So, also, you guys have to stick around because we are told this should happen live. We are like T minus. 27 minutes, 52 seconds, as you see right there on your screen. And we are going to bring it to you right here on Indie Style. This is so crazy. I don't think we've been able to do this for quite some time. It's like breaking breaking lifestyle news this right awesome. here. There's you always know? something new going on when I when I come here. So <laughs> I don't know how this is going to get any better than I that. I think but so, this is, too. This is good, but so. it'll be so interesting to see the follow-up and to actually hear what he has to say about his journey, about his experience. I mean, this is something not many people get to do, right? Or want to. Or want to <laughs> in their lifetime. So I have to ask you, Mr. Jared Thompson, if you got the opportunity at 90 years old, would you take it? Would you go into space? Mm -mm. I, I just, I really don't <laughs> think so. Mm -hmm. I think the fact of getting to 90 would yeah. be all the exploration that yeah. I would want. I mean, it would be great, but right. I would, I would pass. I, I think would pass. I would send my little space voucher on to someone else <laughs> and keep oh. my, my feet on, right. on, on the ground here. I can't even imagine that experience. I cannot wait to see this. I cannot wait to hear from him again, you guys, live in about 27 minutes. You're going to see it right here on Wish TV's Indie Style. Of course, we have Nike is well. We're just well. gonna act like she's I not know. even here. It's like the <laughs> elephant in the room, the dog in the room, the Nike in the room. Of course, she's getting treats from Tom Dog from Noah's Animal Hospitals. He's gonna be in here in just a little bit, so we'll chat with him. But I sort of asked you, Jared, a question of the day about going into space. But we have our own question of the day we right do. here on Indie Style, and it's all about Halloween candy. Of course, it's brought to you by Kitchen Saver Custom Cabinet Renewal. All right, Jared, we're asking, what is the worst item you've ever had tossed? in your trick-or-treat bag. What what don't you like, my friend? Um, good and plenty. Oh, yeah. Anything licorice, really. Anything you know? licorice. And okay. What, what is answer. that? Yeah. And first answer needs right. no words. You can hear yeah. and Kay, taste Kay this didn't even need to say anything. She just literally sent a picture. And I am with you, Kay. What is that? Yeah. It's like a taffy? Or yeah, I mean, it's like a taffy. But it just doesn't good. even have a name. Where do you even buy it? It's nasty. It? So, um, 
Lori said, when Dole had those mini bags of salads for you to give out Wait, to the children what? for Halloween, they hated it. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I feel like your money's just going to go to waste, y'all. Don't do that. Don't even mess with it. The kids are going to throw away the salads, right? And then Jolene. Jolene says, those hard little bit of honey pieces. Yeah, does anybody eat those? I mentioned that earlier. Again, <laughs> like these are things that just always seem to be on the candy shelves right. at stores that never get chosen. They never no get chosen, right? It's one day a year. I say have some fun with it and let the kids have what they want. And maybe some dog treats yeah. as well. You could no salad, no toothbrushes, no, 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 like no, Scott no had said earlier. We don't no need toothbrushes. Those. Yeah, yeah, so keep chiming in and let us know what you guys think. We'll read some of those coming up here in just a little bit. I'm so happy to have you with me today. It's fun. A big thank you for filling in. And we need to go over there and see Miss Michelle Dudash because she is in with us today as well.